in the solar system. Quarantine-based offenses are considered particularly heinous. In deep space, the degenerate defectives who perpetuate these seditious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Space Force. These are their stories. I'm Colonel Honey Mustard Sanders, Special Sources. This is my log. It smells of fried chicken. Okay, that's the first out of the way. They're gonna pop up about every 30 seconds or so. There's nothing I can do about it. This frequency I'm transmitting to you on has been modified to translate all outgoing messages into commercials. This is a distress sales call. When this quadrant of space was quarantined, quadratine, sorry, workplace part of my programming. Oh yeah, I'm a robot, more on that later. All non-essential operations were closed down, including our emergency broadcast systems, but not our advertising channels. So I'm sending out an SOS on a bandwidth reserve for infomercials. I'm located on a Neapolitan base in deep pan space, nine inches. Here we go again. The planet I'm orbiting has a stuffed crust full of melted, I mean, molten rock Fort. <clears throat> I think that's all lives. Apparently not. You can disregard most of that, although there are a lot of Italians on the base. Were, sorry. Death spoiler alert. But I have to keep going. Five minutes is the maximum any piece of entertainment can last on a Space Force network. Everyone on this station tested positive for the Morona virus. According to CDC guidelines, CDC of course standing for collectors of dead carcasses, the inhabitants had to maintain at least six feet of space between them at all times. Unfortunately, the base commander interpreted those guidelines literally and injected our entire population out of the airlock. So I'm alone, circling a planet that's about to burn and do 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 do, I'm loving it. The internal temperature of this station is that of a McDonald's apple pie. A muck flurry of seismic activity caused all the volcanoes on the planet's surface to explode simultaneously. And we're going to fries! All escape pods have been quarter impounded with cheese. That's not an ad. Only a quarter of them worked and they were sealed shut using Velveeta. I was the sole android custodian on the base. I'm immune to respiratory diseases by virtue of not breathing. Uh, worked nights and never had any contact with the inhabitants, so even if I could breathe, I still couldn't contract the virus. I noticed everyone was dead when I only had to empty the trash cans twice in one day. Apparently being adrift in space only cuts down your individual waste by about a third. But you can cut your insurance premiums in half by switching to all space. All space customers saved 50% or more on insurance, more than Space Farm and Galaxy Wide combined. All space. You're a spaceman. I'm not here to sell you insurance. Of course, that's what salespeople say when they're about to sell you insurance. But I am buying life insurance. Whoever's listening, send a transporter beam to these coordinates before my call melts, and I'll quit pro quo, sensitive teeth toothpaste recommended by 9 out of 10 dentists. The other one is sensitive to talking about it. A fucking Colgate intelligence I have obtained that will bring down planet President Trump once and for all. I mean, once planet minority leader McConnell has talked to the other senator planets and decided whether it's politically savvy to move on it. This big Mac box I hold in my hand is not a pop-up. By the way, you can't get a bigger penis by putting it in a TARDIS. But evidence, Planet President Trump has been selling government secrets to the Kardashians. Sorry, I mean the Kardashians. You know, Kim Prime, Chloe, Ken Dalek, Kylie Ren, and Courtney. The Kardashian dynasty are the most ruthless media empire in the galaxy. And Planet President Trump is committing treason by sharing confidential information with a family 
who went from being reality stars to living in the stars. Are you ready for the new season? I'm talking, of course, about the season that the Kardashian dynasty created in their stargated constellation by exploding the sun to make it feel more like Southern California weather all the time. Coming up, a shocking finale you won't see coming when they kill all the poor ugly people on their colonies. Look, I don't care about the Kardashians. I mean, I'll watch the daytime reruns, but I'm not into it or anything. If anyone out there still cares about law and order, come get your smoking gun and save my smoking buns. Smoking buns. Ribs, corn on the cob, and coleslaw and baked beans to fried catfish, fries and hush puppies, the fried green tomatoes, foot-long hot dogs, and barbecue nachos. We have something to satisfy every craving. Oh, don't forget about the piggy pie. While you're here, you'll be sure to get yourself a fried pie. No meal is complete without it. That's just copy from a weird earth deliverance themed restaurant. The ads are getting closer together and more and more prosaic. That means soon this transmission will be all commercials. Please before flames engulf my log and set me alight like a chicken-scented wicker man. A uh, chicken man, if you will. Ooh, wordplay program kicking in again. Lock onto my position and get me out of here. Anyone? Please. I'm melting. Melting. Which ad experience do you prefer? Melting. Option one. Help. I'm floating and I can't get down. Melting! Option two, William Shatner for Inogen. Oh, what a world! Option three, George Foreman for Man. Huh. Brought to you in parts by...